everybody up here. Mr. President, colleagues, today we are here to recognize and bring awareness to social media safety. Social media can be used to build communities, spread information across the world, help advance the missions of non-governmental organizations, give historical disadvantages communities an, accessible, uh, ac an accessibility platform. We know all of the wonderful benefits of social media. However, the ubiquity of social media access also changes how bad actors and criminals can prey on society, notably foster youth, domestic violence survivors, marginalized communities. We've seen a lot of dangers with social media as well. Late last year, one of my team members, Cameron, who's over there, uh, attended the annual Peace and Kindness Walk in the Western San Fernando Valley. The walk is one of the many actions our community has taken to rally together and to stand up and spread the message of anti-bullying and kindness. The walk also recognizes how one local high school teenager went to El Camino, goes to El Camino, Jordan Peisner, was viciously attacked by two teenagers for the sake of internet fame and safety. Jordan, which is, he's right back here, he was cold cocked, knocked out, uh, all because somebody wanted to show it on video. It took him years, but he is now skateboarding again. He's a good kid. Um, and he is a testament into turning adversity into advocacy. Now, we need to take uh, innovation actions on our part as a city, and we need to do things to recognize social media safety. Unfortunately, a lot of people don't realize about cyber crimes that are out there and about some of the dangers with social media. Cyber criminals are targeting everyone from youth to seniors. Um, so the first step that we can do is bring awareness to the problem. I'm glad that by declaring today, which is what we're going to do, Social Media Safety Day, millions will become aware and empowered to protect themselves, their loved ones, and the community. And I'm glad to be joined by the Organization for Social Media Safety. This is a group that's based in the West San Fernando Valley. It is the nation's first nonprofit that serves as a consumer protection organization focused solely on social media safety. Through innovative educational programs, legislative advocacy, technology development, they are right by our side in contending, which is still the, the wild digital west that we have. So our first guest speaker I want to introduce is Mark Bergman. He's the executive director for the Organization of Social Media. He has a long history advocating for marginalized groups at the national and state level, and he was instrument, instrumental in creating Jordan's Law, which was named after Jordan, who I referred to earlier. That law is a state law. It's the first in California to contend with media-inspired violence. So Mark, I'll give you the floor. Thank you very much. As the councilman said, my name is Mark Berkman. I am the executive director of the Organization for Social Media Safety. I'd just like to take a moment to acknowledge some of our supporters and board members who are here with us today, and especially thank the city council and council member Blumenfield for recognizing us and for focusing attention on the dire need to finally make social media safe. Unfortunately, the Organization for Social Media Safety arose under tragic circumstances. Around two years ago, as the council member said, then 14-year-old Jordan Peisner, who again is here with us today, was standing with friends outside a local fast food restaurant when another teen that he did not know suddenly and viciously attacked him. While Jordan was being attacked, and then while he lay helpless on the ground, witnesses and friends of the perpetrator just stood there, took video, and uploaded it to social media where it quickly and sadly went viral, having now been viewed by hundreds of thousands. Fortunately for us, soon thereafter, Jordan and his father, Ed, resolved to ensure that no other family had to endure such a horrific ordeal. That is when I met Ed and Jordan, heard their story, and decided to help. Working together, we developed and then passed the nation's first state law called Jordan's Law to deter social media motivated violence or violence committed for the purpose of filming and distributing on social media just to gain internet notoriety. 
While we were advocating for Jordan's Law, we became painfully aware of the rapidly growing list of social media related threats and dangers, including cyberbullying, human trafficking, hate speech, and propaganda, to sadly name just a few. That is why we founded the Organization for Social Media Safety, the nation's first consumer protection organization truly focused on social media, where we take comprehensive action to protect us all from these serious and even existential threats. We look forward to working with the Los Angeles City Council to make social media safe for everyone in Los Angeles and around the world. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mark. Um, our second final speaker is Beverly uh, Entagu. Beverly is a member of the Student Advisory Council for the organization, uh, as well as the student government president uh, at California State University Northridge at CSUN. The student government represents approximately 35,000 students from around Los Angeles, from around the Los Angeles area, uh, and of course they advocate on their behalf, uh, and she has a lot to say on this issue. So Beverly. Welcome. Thank you. In this day and age, many of us use technology as a medium <clears throat> for communicating with one another. Whether that be through email, video conferencing, or social media, the value of face-to-face -face interaction has lessened. As a user myself, social media is a platform that allows you to not only elevate yourself, but to also network with people that, uh, that you otherwise may not have without the platform. I joined the Organization for Social Media Safety's College Advisory Council not to tell you all to delete your social media accounts, but rather I'm here to inform you of the importance of being aware of who you are communicating with and who you're sharing information with. It is imperative that we all educate ourselves on the parameters of our media accounts. Whether that be through our account preferences or privacy settings, it is important to know where your information is going and whom it is reaching. You may be reaching the company of your dreams, but she may be reaching somebody with ill intent. Art historian Michael Kitson once stated, awareness is a key ingredient in, in success. If you have it, teach it. If you lack it, seek it. As the Associated Students President at Cal State University Northridge, I encourage you all to prosper on your various platforms, whether that be through Instagram or LinkedIn, but make an effort to be cognizant of what you're saying online and who you're saying it to. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Beverly. Um, and to help us usher in uh, Social Media Safety Day, I'm introducing two motions today that are inspired uh, by this day that contend with media violence, uh, I'm sorry, media violence and cyber crimes. The first motion will help advance the efforts to expand cyber literacy to millions by funding a successful pilot program instituted by LAPD's Cyber Crimes Unit. We've been working with them and they're really uh, excited about doing this. The second motion will allow more people to make private online police reports. This will link the MyLA311 and the LAPD online reporting tool. It also will expand the number of crimes which can be reported online to include prominent cyber crimes and a tip line uh, for cyber crime red flags. These two motions will serve as the backbone in the effort to empower every single community member to, to counter cyber crimes. Now I'd like to uh, present you all with a Social Media Safety Day uh, certificate that's been signed by every member of the City Council here uh, because we're all excited to, to bring forward the very first and hopefully annual Social Media Safety Day. Let's give them all a big round of applause. Right. Hey, Mr. Blumenfield, yeah. before you leave, uh, and Bets, maybe we can hold for a minute on the photo, I'd like to recognize Mr. Marquis harris -Dost. Chair, I just wanted to rise and thank you, Mr. Blumenfeld, and the organizations and inter individuals that are represented with you uh, today. This is uh, one of those things that doesn't get nearly as much attention as it deserves. Uh, it can both um, uh, be the, you can have a cyber crime that is isolated, but what, but what social media can do with violence and crime is what it does with everything else. It can make it spread. Uh, so you will remember three years ago in my district, we had an outbreak of, of homicides that was driven mostly by social media. And you joined uh, with a number of us to ask the social media companies, hey, stop profiting from this. Stop profiting from pictures of people getting shot or fights in the street and so on and so forth. So I want to make sure I stood up and on behalf of the folks of the 8th District and around the city, thank you for this presentation and thank you all for your work. 
Betsy, the floor is yours. Give the floor to the photographer. Uh, let's, uh, City Attorney, uh, I've been informed that item 14 we should be able to take up. Can you speak to that briefly? It's the closed session item. I believe the hearing was already held. Oh, uh, uh, Madam Clerk, maybe you could speak to it. Yes, Mr. President, on item 14, in the case entitled RJ, a minor at all, versus the City of Los Angeles at all, there is a recommendation to expend up to $500,000 in settlement. Okay. Let